Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And you already know, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below in the comment as well. And I will be happy to make a video for you too, same as the over 100 videos I made now on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from subscribers, some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button, I would really appreciate it. And here I am, I'm back again with another video. The most requested one actually, uh, when I get back to YouTube because I was taking a break, taking, taking care of some business because YouTube is not my main thing. I do have other things running. But anyway, in this video, I will show you how to add the scroll back to the top button on Shopify without using any apps or anything like that by using our own code that will do the trick. And if you are wondering why is that, because it's actually much, much faster and it doesn't affect the loading time if your Shopify store uh, other than using apps. If you use apps, it's gonna slow down your Shopify store. So as I said in this video, I will show you how to end the back to top button on your Shopify store, the video that was requested the most after I come back, but well, here I am for you. I already made the script and it's already uh, available so no worries and as I said just a like button that's all I'm asking for and now let's just quit talking and let's just get to it as you can see this is the Shopify dashboard in here and this is the down team which is the team where I do demonstration in the video I have the 15 version which is the last uh, version as of now and below here I have other teams as well which is taste sense refresh spotlight and trade and if you are wondering why is that because each trick i do share on my channel i do try it i do demonstration actually on down team as i said but i do try it behind the scenes on each one of these so even if you're not using down you're using other teams from here it will work for you just fine and as i said even if it didn't just drop me a comment i would be happy to help you out so let me show you the shopify store where i do the trick this one right here so there is no if i get back in here and i need to scroll back to the top i need to do it manually like the traditional way so uh, we will add the button here on the right which is better and it also works on the mobile by the way it works just fine in the mobile and i will show you this in this video so it will be shown here at the bottom right corner. And if you click on it, it's gonna get back to the top. And it says back to the top and it shows an, an up arrow. So even people that cannot read, they can know that this button will actually take them to the top. And this is really handy if you have many products in a collection page and you have the infinite scroll, which is already on the way. That video of infinite scroll is on the way with the code again, no apps, no worries. But let's just go talk and let's just get to it. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it. So first, we need to get back to code editor. So simply click on the three dots on left of customize for the team you are using and click on edit code. Then we need to find the folder snippets. So in here, you can see section snippets, snippets that we need. Simply click on snippets and click on add new snippet. Click on it and it will uh, tell you to name it. So name it back dash to dash d h e d dash top just like you see back to the top and make sure to do a dash between each one of these because space will not work so after that simply click on done then the file will be completely empty right so we need the code in here that will do the trick so a script and in order to do that you need to hire a developer and pay him and wait 24 hours so you can back with script then check if it works or not but for my case it's not. Just scroll down the description box and you will see a link. Name it as code. Simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here. Where you're going to see this long code. A little bit long. Like uh, 77. It's not that long. Anyway. So this code will do the trick. And this code is completely free. No pay please. No share please. Nothing like that. Just a like button if this video helped you out. And wait actually until you see if it did. If it didn't, don't press the dislike button. It's not working anymore. Uh, drop me a comment and I will help you work. That's working, I promise. So <laughs> let's just select the whole code or maybe click on row button here. So it make it easier. Click on it. It will show you the whole code. Then on your keyboard, click on Control A. If you are on Windows, I'm on Mac. I'm going to click on Command A. Then it did highlight the whole code in here. Then right click and copy. After that, get back code editor and paste it in the new snippet that we did create. That's easy, right? So now simply click on save button 
Now we save it the snippet. Then the next thing we're going to do is we need to find team.liquid. Now I already see it here. If not, use the search bar at the top left corner and type in team and it will show you team.liquid. Simply click on it. Then after that, scroll all the way down and you will see uh, forward slash body right here. But we need this, some space before it. So click on the closing bracket in here, hit enter and it will show you some space above forward slash body. And this is really important. Otherwise it will not work. And after you do so, we need another code that will call the function on the home page. And you need to hire a developer. <laughs> no need, no need. Scroll down the description box again and you will see a link named as code, second code, code number two. Click on it and it will take you to this page again. One line of code, as you can see. Simply right click, copy the code, get back in here, paste it above forward slash body, then hit the save button. Once it's saved, it, get back to Shopify store, reload the page, and it doesn't work. Let me reload again in case uh, something happened. Okay, I was a dummy. I need to scroll down so it will show up. So if you scroll down, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm working on too many stuff lately, so my mind is going all around things. So uh, once you are on the, up on the page, top of the page, it will not show up. But once you scroll down like this, here it is, as you can see, back to the top and with the arrow up. So if we scroll down all the way to the footer and you click on it, up to the top of the page, right? So let's just check on the mobile because as I said, it works on the mobile, it's is, is fine. And let's just work, scroll down. Here we go, as you can see, back to the top. If I click on it, back to the top. And that's how you add back to the top button on your Shopify store without using any apps or anything like that. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.